Hello guys, what's up? Sean here again, and I'm here with my my, my one A two. Yeah, yeah. And today we are doing another plug review. I haven't been uploading for roughly a month or two now, um, due to the fact I've been trying to find new stuff to record, and I haven't. So I t hit up the developer of this plugin, and he kindly let me have a copy of his plugin for free. This is a premium plugin. I will have to price on the screen now, and. Yeah, so basically this plugin is called Enchant Plus. What it does, it adds 25 vanilla enchants to your game. Um, so if I'll, I'll go demonstrate and show you with slash... The base command is slash enchant, or for short, you can do slash en. Um, and obviously the en help comes up, so if you go ahead and look at the help page. Um, so first of all, you can enchant stuff yourself, but we don't know what to enchant yet, so let's do en this. And here's all the enchantments for swords, tools, bows, armor, and other ones. Um, so I'm going to go through each one and then edit the config and then reload it in game and show the difference it makes. Uh, Alright, so my mind, I'm going to put the enchants of stuff. So if you want to get some armor on, and I'll demonstrate it to them for, for <laughs> them to see. So if I go ahead and to be able to enchant stuff, you need to have the item in your hand and you do en enchant. Um, your name and then the name it says there so I'm doing Fenum for Source and then you can do a level after that so I think this is between 1 to 3 um, so if you want to lower level you just uh, basically lower it down so as you can see here it's got Fenum 3 uh, it has a chance to poison an enemy while attacking the awesome thing about this is that it also shows how it works and um, yeah it's just pretty awesome Alright, so when I hit him, you'll see particle effects come around him, like uh, emerald particle effects, and you also see it come up in chat, so I want to give it a go now. You ready? Mm-hmm. Alright. Give it a second. Sometimes it doesn't work. It does work, it's just uh, it's the percentage chance. There you go. Mm -hmm. You saw the particles, and it says in chat you poison an enemy, and now he's slowly dying. <laughs> Mm. Um, so that's basically how the sword ones work. I'm not going to go through each of them because they're pretty self explanatory like slowness gives them slowness, blindness gives them slowness, uh, blindness, withering gives them withering, so this is also like poison withering. Uh, but I will show you the ones that kind of don't stand out as much as the other ones because you won't understand them. So if I go ahead and try Quake. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, so you wipe, uh, wipe, right click to quake. Uh, let's do it. Uh, it basically does a ring, an explosion and a ring around you, and then it launches everything up in the air. Um, it's configurable in the config to basically make that enabled for players or not. So I can make it so it just didn't hurt my miner. Or launch them in the air. Um, so that's Quake. I'll show you the other ones that don't stand out as much. Um, they do stand out. I meant like you won't understand what they mean. So Life Leech, just give this a go. <laughs> uh, you can take hearts off your enemy. Sorry if you can't see that that well. I'll just quickly um, move this over so you can see it. Uh, leech is some health off the enemy. So if I, there you go, already done it. There's Black Particle Effect, and I took 0.5 hearts off my mate. Uh, some other ones such as Ice Aspect, um, I'll explain it while doing it, basically it freezes them while you're PvPing. There you go, now you can't move. You can jump and move, <laughs> but you can barely go anywhere. So you're pretty pretty frozen in a PvP battle there. <laughs> um, Lucky gives you more XP when killing mobs as such. Um, I will demonstrate that, but I'll go into the config for that one. And beheading kind of self-explanatory again, you kill mobs, uh, the higher the level beheading, which is level 3, you get a better chance to be able to get their head. Uh, so onto the tool enchants, auto smelt, auto smelts, um, I think auto smelt at the moment is only iron and gold here, um, I'll let my my try that if you want. Okay. Um, I do pick the X1, and, uh, oh, I Ian Enchant, uh, Shauna 4 to Auto Smelt. Alright, 
Um, so you now auto smelt golden iron ores when mining. Fortune also applies. So normally, if I just mine, if you go ahead and just mine one of iron, yeah, it auto smelts it. Yep, and then give me the pickaxe again. And then if we put fortune on it, it should give you more. So let's put fortune three. There you go. And that should give you more while auto smelting it at the same time. There you go. Yep. Which, oh. That's that's an awesome, awesome part to the server. Also prison servers if you ever want that. Um, this is mainly a I would class it as mainly a PvP kit, PvP factions. Even you can put it on Skyblock if you really want to do anything. It works on any type of server. Um, Alright, so other one such as regain. Um, okay. Uh, say I have a um, a diamond pickaxe, and if I mine this, it regains the durability of my pickaxe because it's diamond and the pickaxe is diamond. If I have a gold pickaxe and gold ore, if I mine gold ore, it'll give me um, it will gain my durability for that pickaxe, so on and so on. So iron pickaxe, mine iron, it gains iron pickaxe. Um, reinforced, I completely forgot actually, I think that's the one where it automatically, basically it's a, it's basically like auto smelt again actually, um, I believe it is isn't it, do you remember? I don't know, let's test it, I think, I think um, if it's reinforced then it might be harder to break. Let's read it real quick. Mines any ores instantly regardless of the tool's mining level. You wanna go give that a go? Yeah. Let's just do iron. Iron, yeah. There you go. Whoa! It's basically... It's kind of like a tech it server at the same time as... You can say... It adapts vanilla. to the block. Yeah, it's, it's really good. So if you try and mine like, I don't know, let's say diamond now. Yeah, actually gives you yeah I, I just have to hit it. Yeah, you just hit it. It's, it's really good. Also, another good feature for <coughs> prison servers. Um, Alright, so next one is excavation. Uh, this is kind of... Um, I'm not sure if I want to demonstrate this one. It's really... Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Basically, it's... Uh, it basically digs it like a 2x2x2 <laughs> two by two by two hole. <laughs> or a 2x3 hole. Oh. Um, oh, I forgot to put my name. Alright, so if I go find some, if I just quickly dig down a bit over here, get some cobble. Okay, that's a hole. Um, here. <coughs> Let's make it day real quick. Alright, so if I just break this, as you can see, it digs a 3x3x2 three by three by hole. And if I can just keep digging down, yeah. So it uh, it also works with um, fortune. Uh, no, not fortune. Efficiency. Just wait for that motor part to get past. <laughs> I'll cut this bit out. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's basically what marine, uh, an act, uh, not reinforced excavation does. It's like another MCMMO thing, but much, much better. Uh, bow enchants, flashing arrows is another blindness for bows. Poison arrows, self-explanatory, and with an arrow, self-explanatory. Poison arrows obviously poisons your enemy. With it always withers your enemy. Armor enchants, some deeds are self-explanatory again. Um, auto speed, automatic get speed. Night vision, auto night vision, water breathing, or automatic water breathing. Regeneration gives you regeneration. Auto jumps, jump boost, and life gives you extra hearts, which is configurable in the config. And other enchants like stability, instability, rejuvenation, and heavy. Um, I believe rejuvenation slowly regenerates your durability. Instability, I believe, slowly drains your durability. I am not sure on this. I'll have a link in the description to his thread on Spiggle MC to what each one does so if I am wrong please correct me um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna quickly go in the config while editing it in game so if I go into the, once you load up the file 
there is five configs, uh, five folders even. Wait, my mouse is really wrong. There's six now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. There's a config. Uh, which I'm going to go into first. The disabled enchants, which you can disable the enchants here, which I have. I missed one called flight because I have disabled it, um, but it will be in the config. Enchant names, you can change the name of the enchants on your pickaxes and the tool tips when you hover over it, the lore. The language is if you're in a different language, you can straight away change it and the player data is everyone's player data. So if I just open player data to quickly get it, uh, like my my Sean Ford 2 and some other people, um, once particles true and once custom enchants true. Just before I hop into the config, there's some other stuff I do in help. You can toggle particles so no longer particles will come up if you want it just to come in chat. Um, and you can also toggle enchant. So now you can no longer get custom enchants on the enchantment table. But if I quickly, uh, I the sword one, if I quickly show you, oh, I almost gave myself 64. I'll just quickly show you how it works. I need lapis. Uh, got I it. Got it. Thank you. Uh, yeah. What? Oh, wait, that's one. Alright. It's still not working. Ah, oh, I need my levels, don't I? <laughs> uh, I can't see what level I am. What level am I now? Um, ask the good chat. Go away, chat. Come on, go away. A thousand seventy two. That'll do. Oh, oh. All right. So, okay, I didn't get anything on that one. I've custom it. I've customized it so it's really hard to get an enchantment table. But as you can see, that I just got. Oh, I need to move this over so you can see. I got lucky two, slowness two, and blindness two. As you can see, Lucky gets more XP when you kill an entity, except for players. Um, so it clearly works in enchantment tables, it works 100%, um, and it's just really good. So I'm going to hop into the config now, and I'll show you it from in-game, also having the config open, so I can edit it in-game and on the config. So, uh, so the first thing that happens when you open the config is, you obviously see it's a config plugin, um, there's the message prefix, when I type, as you can see it says enchant like that, but obviously with colours. Um, just there you have toggled on your custom enchantments on the enchantment table, you can change that there. Enchant timer, I've actually, um, oh okay so say if um, I had a custom enchant and it had a tooltip and everything's still on it and if I put that to true it will automatically convert and it will make your custom enchant work again from the old servers if you have if you've just reinstalled this plugin alright so enchants this is to disable them in the enchantment table um, so I've disabled fly and where is it soulbound um, but you can just enable and disable once you want and then just do en list and just take a look um, at the ones you don't want and go through each one. The next one is the how often they will appear in the uh, enchantment table, I believe this one is. Yeah, so as you can see my percent for chance is only really low. Uh, mine are basically all 10 to 20 percent, some of them are at 5 percent and that's why it's really hard to get them. But completely your choice on what type of server you are, what game mode you are, uh, so you can change it to what you want. Um, you can also change the fight between them, so basically if I change Venom, the poison one, to, it says both at the moment, if I put PvP, it'll only work against player versus player, then if I put PvE, it'll only work against player versus enemy, which is mobs. If I put both, it'll work against mobs and players, so I keep it as both for everything. Uh, excavation uses random durability, means it uses random durability. The percent chance for it to take one durability is 50. Um, so basically, every two, I believe it takes one durability since it's 50. And the beheading chance, as I mentioned, there's three levels to it. Um, you can change the percent chances here. Everything works fine on it. 
Um, so 20% for level 3 to get a mob's head. Uh, yeah. Um, so for the armor, I believe it's life one is. Yeah. You can change the, the max level for health. As it says here, if you set to level to 1, you get 0 0.5 hearts. If I set that to 2, they get 1. Um, okay, so health per level. <coughs> Oh no, my bad. Max levels, the uh, max level I believe for life. You have to change that. I'll just keep that at one. Um, health per level. Okay, so if I change this to two, they get one. If I change it to four, they get two. If you keep it at one, it's a point five. Enchant stacked up. When yeah, so basically, if you wear more than one life enchant on your armor you get more hearts uh, obviously this quake I was talking about um, if you want it to launch players up in the air which I just showed you um, or I make them take full damage you can change it all here just change these to false so if I change it to false um, and then I'll demonstrate it real quick for quake EN reload okay uh, I do sword Okay, so if I do slash Ian enchant Sean of Four to Quake, okay, my man? Yeah. Uh, I need to demonstrate Quake now since I've disabled launches players and full damage. You ready? Mm, yep. You know, it won't do that much damage. Oh, okay then. So now it didn't bother launching them up in the air and it didn't take any damage at all. Did you? Nope. Yeah, okay, so it only works on mobs now. But I like to have it more of a PvP feeling, so I keep it on for that. Uh, the regeneration rate, this is also for armors. The heal rate, um, this is the, as it says, the chance that the player will heal every one second. The heal rate is 4.0 every second. Um, I feel that's like two hearts every second, I believe. I'm not sure about that one. And the heal amount. Um, Okay, so that it heals them half a heart every four four seconds, or no, no, it heals them half a heart every eight second, which is normal. Um, and then the miss config is here, so you can disable anvils, uh, so they can't. Um, wait, what? Oh yeah, okay, so anvils with the custom enchants will only be disabled, so you've got them combining two two enchants. Um, so such as if I try and do it now, if I try and, and it put Phenom and Quake together in the enchantment table. Ah, apparently it doesn't want to work. Yeah, I have to look into that one, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Um, yeah, and then particles are able to already show you in game. You can change that from in game. And um, the flight timer is basically the thing I've disabled. Um, you can get flight on your armor and stuff, and it lets you fly for a certain amount of seconds. And it also uh, breaks their armor at the same time while flying. The required level to get a custom enchant in there is 20, so 20 or higher you need. Um, the enchant rate is 45%, another enchant rate, uh, this is the, the more chance you get to get better enchants I believe. Um, armor enchants work in hand, so say I have uh, auto speed and I'm holding it in my hand it will still work, but I've got that disabled. Um, I can show that now. True. Ian reload. ID. Uh, chest plate one, Ian enchant, Sean of Four Two, um, auto speed. So if I just hold it now, there you go. So I'm getting speed automatically without even having the armor on. But you can keep the armor on and it will still work. Let's change that back to false. And it will go away now, it should. Yep. Uh, the max custom enchant you can have on one thing is four, and on books it's two. You can change that here, so I can only have four on my sword and two on a book. So you can enchant books and enchantment tapes too. 
and the absolute max enchants five. I believe that's if you get um, if you want to get more, you can change that there. So you can enchant more with the en enchant means you can do as much as you want. It doesn't it, do, it ignores the max enchant. Uh, you could do vanilla enchants included if you want to enchant vanilla. Uh, bad enchants you can enable for true if you want to get them bad ones such as get rid of the durability of your armor. Um, and helpful tooltips which is the thing underneath here. You can keep them on uh, and then a rarity to get them. So basically when I'm hitting, as you can see when I hit my minor rarity to get them, that's because it's, they're really low so it's really hard to get. That's why it took a while for me to get it on him because they were really low. Uh, and then you can change the ice aspect duration which I'm probably going to put to like 5 seconds. A lucky amount and a multiplier I'm going to change it to 2. Um, life leech heal amount. Each amount is half a heart. I'll just change that to 4 so you can nick 2 hearts. Uh, soul bound, I think that's what you keep your item after you've died, but I've disabled that. Flight duration decay, it decays your armor after a time. Um, rejuvenification, I'm not sure what that does. I think that's the getting rid of it. And I think this gives you more. Like this regains and that gets rid of it. It might be the other way around. Can enchant affect people? Yes. Heavy enchant called mining fatigue? Yes. So that that's self explanatory, that's the config gone over. Um, there's only a couple left, but they're really easy. Um, so that's just disable and enchant, so let's look in that. Uh, as you can see here, you just disable them. Um, yeah, you disable it and it, it won't register on your server anymore. So if I do EN list, this will completely remove it from the server. So it will no longer be there. The enchant name, uh, you can change the name, so how it says Quake here. Um, let me find it real quick. I can change this to make it say Wake. And then if I do Ian Reload, I'm going to have to give myself a diamond sword again. There you go, it says Quake. But it's kind of weird at the moment. It comes up in two colours. And then you can change the level. The level numbers so how it says quake one you make it so it's different colors here um but i don't want that and then the tool tips the things under them you can just change it to your language also uh the prefix which is the star next to it and then the language which is obviously the language file which you can change absolutely everything in it so if you're a different language, uh, you can just change this, or he might already have some language files on his page to be able to change it. So yeah, that's basically all of it for this. Um, if I did not go over some stuff, uh, please remind me and I'll make a part two to this video. And yeah, thank you for watching, subscribe, and get any last word, bye bye. Mm, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you guys next time.